How's it going? Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Chef Wes the Vet here. I'm a four year veteran that served in the armed forces in the Army branch with the culinary background. And uh, I've had my YouTube channel for about four weeks now. Hope you guys really do enjoy my other videos that I've uploaded so far. If you do, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my review on the uh, Pit Boss Lockhart. Uh, it's a Pit Boss smoker, Pit Boss pellet smoker. It's a Lockhart series. And uh, the reason why I'm at Walmart is because I haven't found it anywhere else. I've looked online, I've looked on Amazon, I haven't found anything. Um, but it's actually on sale right now and I don't know if that's due to because uh, football season's starting up but um, I'm here at Walmart now as you can see and uh, we're gonna go pick out the uh, Lockhart pellet smoker I'm gonna give you guys my review on it and uh, hopefully this review will help you guys in a way to like if you're ever interested in the series itself hopefully it'll help you guys a little bit on a review um, but I've looked at a lot of pellet smokers I looked at the Traegers and uh, I've been more fascinated with the pit boss more than anything and uh, yeah let's go inside guys let's not waste any more time let's do it let's get it started all right see you guys inside all right guys we're here let's go ahead and find this bad boy really quick this one right here though looks like they're on sale today <laughs> that one's pretty neat that's pretty cool here we are Looks like it holds up to 40 pounds of wood pellets. All right, guys. Bite and take this bad boy home. This would be definitely good for game day right here. Some game day recipes right there. Let's see what this bad boy can do real quick. It's got an eight in one. It's got a grill, smoke, sear, braise, bake, roast, char grill, barbecue. Hmm. And uh, looks like you can uh, download an app of some sort. It's got Bluetooth capabilities. All right, get this bad boy loaded. Do you think you guys might have one already assembled or no? I'm not 100% sure. It's something we have four on hand. We might have. Have you already looked all inside there? Yeah, they were in the back yesterday. It's okay though. It's it's fine if you don't have one assembled. Just, yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure if we do unfortunately. It's all good. No worries. I'll take it anyways. Thank you. Now that's something new right there too as well. I've never seen that model yet. I don't know if it's new. <clears throat> Casey combo. This one has the gas settings on it. I don't know about that. I just want to smoke it itself. Oh, it's got a it's got a griddle too. That's pretty cool. It's got a side burner here too as well. Actually, it's got some meat probes on this style. Okay, okay. I don't know, I still like the lock cart though. I just like that smoking cabinet in the lock cart itself. This one's actually going for a little bit more too as well. Oh, 
All right, y'all, we're almost here. All right, just pulling up. Oops, my bad. All right, guys, let's unbox this bad boy. Let's unload it, put it together, and uh, let's check this beast out. All right, we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube family. All right, like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna give you guys my review on the uh, Lockhart Pit Boss Platinum Pellet Smoker Series here. All right, and uh, as you can tell, I have the uh, pellet smoker assembled. All in all, as far as assembly time goes, I wanna say it took me a total of an hour to set up so all right guys let's go ahead and get started really quick uh, i'm going to give you guys my review on the uh, lockhart platinum pit boss pellet smoker series all right let's get started guys come on let's do it all right all right so the pros to this uh pellet smoker uh the, the reason why i caught my eye obviously because the uh cabinet smoker up top here um i thought that was pretty unique pretty cool all right, another thing is too, uh, this thing has Bluetooth capabilities. You can download the app um, if you're sitting inside watching the football game and uh, you wanna make sure that your uh, heat's not fluctuating up and down, uh, which actually, I mean, Pellet Smokers itself does a pretty good job of doing that. But I mean, uh, just in case you wanna keep an eye on it, you can download the app and uh, like I said, you can check the temperature and see where it's at, especially with the probes in there. Um, <clears throat> Another pro about this is, uh, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I wanna say it's got 2,100 cubic inches of uh, smoking and grilling space. Another thing I liked about the uh, unit itself was, not only can you smoke on this thing, but um, let me open up the bottom here for you. Not only can you smoke on this right here, but if you decide, like, let's say, hey, you know what? I decide I won't. I don't want to really want to smoke any meat today or whatever it is that you're smoking. It's got a flame broil lever on the side here. Open this bad boy up. And uh, right now it's not turned on. But you'll see a fire right there in the middle. As an igniter, it'll fire up and uh, reaches up to 500 degrees. So if you're trying to cook steaks and you're trying to sear them bad boys, after you're done searing, you can close it up. Um, and there you go, you can cook off the rest of your meat right there. So let me show you guys the full experience here really quick, all right? So we'll probably start here first, the unit itself. Unit's all touchscreen. So you turn it on, all right? It's got the smoker temp up top, along with the grill temperature right here in the bottom settings. Uh, it's got the igniter, it's got the prime right here. It's got the built-in fan. It's got the heat sensor capability right here on the side. IT technology, like I was saying earlier in the video, or earlier in this video, that you can download an app and uh, you can keep an eye, keep track of your, your smoking temps on the unit here. It's got a built-in light here for the uh, inside of the top cabinet here. Sorry, let me see if, see if you, yeah, see if you guys see it. There we go. And. Uh, <clears throat> The bottom cabinet as well, so if you're smoking up top, let's see here. Smoking on the bottom too as well at night. It's got a built-in light, makes it a little easier. Um, so yeah, and then like I said, it's got the Fahrenheit and Celsius uh, settings, however you want to set it at. It's got the prime button right here when you're starting up the smoke to let it warm up. It's got um, up to four probes in here. It came with two actual probes itself. So if you open this up right here, it's got your hopper right here. Holds up to 40 pounds of pellets. Cool feature about this too as well. It's got a side window so that way you can actually see. It makes it visible and see how much pellets you're holding in your hopper here. We got some hooks to go through the top of the cabinet here. So if you decide you wanna smoke up some uh, some sausage or maybe whatever it is that you want to smoke. I mean, if you want to cook some sausage or chicken, ribs, whatever it is that you want to smoke, 
the hooks make it really convenient. Like I said, it came with two probes. Both the probes are inside the smoker itself right now. I put one in the top cabinet, one in the bottom cabinet. So all you do is take a little probe here and plug it into whatever position that you want it in. All right, so that goes, that goes for the touchscreen capability unit right here itself. Now we'll move on to the, uh, the top cabinet itself now. So this thing's pretty cool, it's pretty neat. It's got two uh, stacks on top. You can adjust it to your, uh, to your liking here. pretty easy to adjust smoking cabinet all right remember that telling you I was telling you earlier that uh stuck one of the probes inside the uh, top smoker here it's got four racks here I mean you can easily cook easily cook four racks of ribs if not more I would say eight maybe if you had some baby backs in there all right and then uh it's got a drip pan down here. I need to clean this bad boy out. Sorry. Dang, man, I need a haircut. Look at me. I need a haircut and a beer trim. All right, so if you can see that little box looking thing with holes in it, um, the smoke actually goes up into the top unit itself through the bottom here. It works its way from the bottom up top. And uh, <laughs> I said, if you open this unit right here, it's got that flame. Well, remember I was telling you? A little igniter down there. Makes it pretty cool. Close it up. Things all electric. You don't need propane. Which is really convenient. I hate running out of propane every time I'm going to smoke something. On a, I used to have a propane smoker and I just hated it. <clears throat> but like I said, the flame broiler right there, the lever. Uh, it's got some smoke cabinet control arms right here. So basically when you open that up, that'll let you adjust the smoke to the top cabinet there, how much smoke you want in there. And as you can tell, let me see if you can see it. Can see it in here, but. Open and closes it. It's got some uh, table shelves right there. It's got a built-in table shelf. Makes it pretty cool. The one thing I wish they would have built on this thing though was um, <laughs> some hooks to hook on your accessories, like tongs or whatever it is that you're using a spatula. Uh, I wish we'd put some hooks right here on the side. That would have been pretty cool. Just something I wish they would have added, you know what I mean? To the unit. It's not a big deal, but it would have made it made it a lot more convenient. It's got a built-in ash tray on the bottom here. All your pellets. This right here is an actual brush that'll brush out the pellets out of that igniter in there. So any debris that's in there, it does a pretty good job of cleaning it out. Now the feature I liked about this was, it's got a bottom shelf here where, if you don't have enough storage, I mean if you want to throw a couple of bags of pellets down there, um, you can easily do that. Let me see here, what else did I miss? got heavy duty wheels, it can be easily moving around, easily mobile, and said it's electric. So far so good that I'm really happy with this unit. Um, if you guys do go ahead and buy one though, when you're setting it up, make sure you guys do smoke off that uh, the top and lower cabinet for about a good hour. It has factory chemicals that may be harmful. So my suggestion would be to smoke it off, burn off those chemicals, before you use it and uh, I made the mistake also too I want to let you guys know I made the mistake is uh, I wasn't seeing enough smoke going through my unit and that was due to the fact that I didn't let it warm up enough so when you turn this on you see how it's at five set to smoker settings let it warm up a little bit until you see some white smoke it'll eventually turn in some, into some blue clear smoke and uh, once it does that uh, that's when you want to raise up your temp but yeah, when you have that white smoke, it eventually turn into uh, blue smoke, blue clear smoke, and that's what you guys want. 
don't be afraid when you buy one of these and be like, hey man, is it defective? No, it's not defective at all. Like you can easily taste that smoke on the meat itself. And uh, don't be worried. So there you go, guys. There's my review on the Lockhart pellet series itself. Like I said, it's a pretty cool unit. I like it so far. I'm pretty impressed. So far I've smoked some brisket on here. I've smoked ribs on here. Uh, baked beans, barbecue sauce, everything. Everything you name it. So. Hope you guys really do enjoyed this video so far. If you guys have any suggestions or anything that I missed in this video, please go ahead and drop it down to my inbox and I'll reach back out to you guys. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you real quick. Oh, buddy. It's got a bucket here. It's got a grease trap here with a liner. So it comes with a bucket and a, a liner here. Catches all the grease. I've cooked about, maybe I want to say, uh, 20 hours total of smoking. Like I said, I cooked brisket ribs in here. And it's not even a quarter of the way full. So it does a pretty good job. Easy maintenance, easily cleanable. All right guys, that wraps it up for uh, the review on the uh, Pit Boss Platinum Lockhart Series Pellet Smoker. Um, so all, all in all, I would definitely recommend one of these. Like I said, I've, this is my first pellet smoker I've ever bought. You guys are new to pellets, uh, pellet smoking. Um, like I said, I've looked at a lot of uh, units and the Pit Boss really caught my eye. I'm pretty happy with it, pretty satisfied. Um, pick one up at Walmart. It's the only place that I know that I actually get one from. But there you go, guys. I mean, if there's anything that I missed in the video, anything that you guys would like to know about, please go ahead and message me, drop it down in my inbox, and uh, I'll reply back to you guys. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you guys like this review, and I'll see you guys soon.